guys, it's Corrales. Welcome back, everybody, to City Skylines. Just sit back. What did that car just do? Lady, you don't even live there. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to City Skylines. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do enjoy, smash the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. Previous episode, we started the American suburb, and I love it. I love it to bits. I think this looks really atmospherical. However, we are not going to continue this today, okay? One day, everybody. One day, we will be back. This place is a little bit... Well, it's not It's not that bad. It's not that laggy as the place behind me. And people have been saying, like, Kiraz, you need to get a new computer. Every single episode, I see tons of comments. Get a better CPU, get a better this and that and this and that. It's... It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. This game, with the amount of detail I'm adding, doesn't play out good, all right? Let, okay, okay, let me, let me show you, all right? Low, shadow distance, very short, and this disabled. Everything is disabled, all right? Now you might think, oh my kid, this is the, the, the lowest settings possible. Better FPS? No. Honestly, look, look how boxy everything looks. Everything is super boxy, looks super ugly, and the FPS is only, only 3 FPS better than it was, alright? Because I'm still lagging about all over the place. Obviously, it's going to be better, because we're getting 3 extra frames per second, but it's still, it is still just the amount of detail we're adding, alright? So it's not my computer whatsoever! Ah, <sighs> now, now it looks good. So yeah, previous episode we set off uh, to do the American suburb over here, which we are going to keep, alright? We're going to continue this later on, and um, there's been a big discussion in the comment section I've seen from the previous video, and it is about streetlights, because I didn't add any streetlights, especially like on those streets, and people have been like, hey, they usually don't have streetlights, maybe one or two or three, but not a full street. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like... Uh, manually place a few streetlights here and there, but uh, not today. Not today. I've been hearing people in the comment section say, Kerales, do a recreational area. Kerales, get some pools in. And pools, swimming, everybody, I'm gonna listen, all right? Man, I'm loving this. It's, I'm beyond on the street level. I, I don't know. The problem is, when we are done with this city, I'm not going to be able to do this anymore because there's not going to be any FPS whatsoever, so I'm just going to be enjoying like a slideshow of something. So at this stage, I'm kind of like happy that I can just spin about and inspect stuff. So yeah, pools, you say, and I'm going to be listening. We're going to do it about, about here. And now you might be, hey, what are we going to do? I'm going to show you. First of all, we're going to build a road. Obviously, it's going to be timeless because this is going to take hours and hours. We're going to build a road. Very beautiful, very perfect. And then everybody. And then pools. Pools, pools, pools. Bam. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Today, we're going to do a water sewage treatment plant. People can swim here if, if they want, all right? I'm going to make it nice. Don't worry. We're going to make it nice. This city needs that. Like, we have been building stuff. And even though the city is not that big and whatnot, we don't really have much, like, of utility structures about. We do have, like, the suburbs, the shopping areas, the industry area. But utility. This is going to be vital for the whole city in the future. So we're going to be using this, uh, which is called the uh, aeration basin, uh, doesn't matter. It's something, right? We're going to be using the clarifiers. We're going to be using maybe the administration laboratory buildings. We're going to be using the grid and screen facilities. How does this look, by the way? It's not. It's, it's not too shabby. Okay, I'm not going to look, be looking behind because, because here, this direction, look at this. How smooth this is. It's like... It's, it's just a dream with all the mind of frames we have get going over here. What else is there to use besides that? By the way, this is such a fantastic look, like looking building. I kind of wish the poop kind of kind of moved about because that would make the, the immersion a bit better. But I'm not gonna be sad that it's not moving. Like I mean, <laughs> we don't want to see any floaters anyhow, right? Do we? So we're gonna be using that. What is that? The pumping service. Everybody. What is the pumping service? Uh, I don't think this is. I don't think this is a custom asset. I think this is an in-game thingy. The pumping service. Does the water move? It doesn't move, but it definitely looks quite cool. I do have a slight idea, right? It would be kind of cool bringing up this road over somehow of those railroad tracks, lowering them down to the ground, 
and making the trains going through poop paradise. Is that going to be a thing? I think that might be a thing. Is there anything else we could add here? Water towers. I did grab those buildings. This might actually suit as a really nice, like, what are you going to call it? Like, office area? I see skyscrapers. I don't see any skyscrapers that direction, but it's a beautiful reflection. Can you just see all those skyscrapers about? It's, it's the future, right? This building knows the future, maybe. What is this? This is a custom reservoir department. I've grabbed the water department and the pumping department. There's also some building which is a little bit curved with a helipad on top. I don't have this. I don't have that building. Man, we have so much. No pollute outflow pipes. Perfect. We don't want to pollute our water now, do we? Everybody, I, th I think, I th yeah, this is this is most definitely gonna be uh, be a, be a thing. We need that. Might not be the most exciting thing to do on a project, but it's definitely a project. So I just want to say, enjoy the time lapse. We will see what we can make out of this. We're gonna build it about here in this region. Not that big. Maybe big. I don't know. That's what you heard. Everybody, enjoy the time lapse. Right me and, you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.
Welcome back, everybody. We are pretty much done. We're not like super done. Did you guys see that? Uh. Uh. Man, it's still a little bit bumpy. But at least those work now. So are we happy for today? Yes. Welcome back, everybody. And uh, what can I say? I love it. Even though it's a poop water treatment facility, I love projects. And I'm really pleased on how it turned out. Like, for those who watch the live stream, you know how it looks, all right? There it is. It's got to be this jump over here. There's a node over here which is kind of like doing something strange. But we will get to that. No, in today's episode. From the air... It looks something like this. And you know what? One thing, I can't wait until we get into the harbor region. Because doing this kind of brought back memories from the previous season where you did the big harbor with all like those, those cranes and containers all over the place. I love stuff like this, all right? So for today's episode, by the way, let's call this done. I think we're going to get back to... Because there's a few gaps here and there which needs to be like filled in with stuff and fixed. And we need to get some roads extended and just go in all over the place. But one thing which I'm super happy about. We do have... I think this is an in-game feature. Like this freshwater outlets, all right? So I made two like big pools inside of it. And we do have those overflow pipes here. Which are like the non-pollution ones. So they're not going to pollute the water. I had an incident, right? Which I kind of took the wrong pipe. And the whole ocean here was like... Um, qu qu quite, quite, quite poopy, all right? It just didn't look good whatsoever. So we have two pools. So those pump out the poop into the little like, pool over here. And then those guys kind of convert that into the fresh water. Is this re realistic? No, 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 no. This is just a little like my imagination putting out some, some buildings here and there and making it happen. But man, I think this looks so nice. Like I would turn around and show the city, but this lags so bad that direction because the whole city is over there. But having those like tetrapods, this might not be like the ideal. It might be like we need to maybe make them even like lower into the ground. But I don't know. It just comes to life and uh, I'm freaking loving it. Even this, this is actually from like an, um, what are you going to call them? Like an oil uh, harbor dealio. But I kind of thought like, why not? What if we have like this, like, uh, what are you going to call it? Sludge kind of pumps out into like a ship which comes by now and then and then they kind of get the poop out. I don't know. All right. This is just my imagination. But let's just get down on ground level and let's see how this looks as you can see like there's the bits and pieces which don't really like go well into this theme i guess we have like those all with pipes pipes are pipes right and the cool thing we're using the move it mod all right which have i said i love it i love it move it mod and prop uh, tree anarchy is best things ever right so what i could do i took like a big big concrete plate put that over one of those pools put the building and this is actually like a conveyor belt, but it doesn't have to make sense, all right? As long as it looks like, okay, it does have a function. So let's say we have poop going back and forth. I, I, I just don't know how it works and how it operates, but in my, my mind, this kind of works out, all right? And this, which is the... What was this? The, what was this? The, the, the sucking, sucky uh, pumping service, all right? This one over here was actually quite neat because it pumps out those like, uh, like those uh, pumping trucks or what you call them with the suction effect. The thing about this is they held up my whole traffic in the city because it takes them forever. Even though the streets were not wet, it just kind of froze the traffic. So I had to use like a mod which disables those tracks from spawning. Because I like the building itself. Like the building here and having the train station going through it, it just, I don't know. How did that pillar come here? There was not a pillar here before, but it is the pillar now. We need to move that pillar. Well, that doesn't really matter now, does it? Like, I mean, it does make sense. Like, this goes out, and, he, and this is a wambulance, right? A wambulance entrance over here. But I guess it, it kind of works out. And overall, here around the whole vicinity, as you can see, there's kind of like elevations. And one thing which I can recommend, like if people are building in this game, 
try out some elevations use some like keys and whatnot just just to make it look like it just gets into more depth when you do that because having this on one elevation would not I don't think it would look as cool as it does. This pool is on one elevation, that pool is on a, another elevation, and it just comes to life, and that is what I love about this game. But I was saying something, yeah, around the whole vicinity, I've been using the, this is the overpassages. For those who kind of want to grab that on the Steam Workshop, over, uh, overpass. I'm using the sunken ones, those ones over here, which you can use the movie mod to kind of adjust height and whatnot. Not the ideal thing, because I do have also like those breakwater things. Those ones over here, which we're going to use later on, but they're just like a, like out in a big harbor. This would just be ideal. But having this like on this little small scale, they're just, I guess, a little bit too big. But man, this looks so neat. A ramp? I put ramps over here. I didn't even know they had ramps. That would be kind of cool as well. But no, let's just keep those ramps. As you can see, there's, there's ramps going down just to kind of, kind of, kind of decoration, detail, all right, details. So yeah, those overpassages kind of worked out fairly nice. However, the only problem is here, it kind of overflows here from time to time. So it gets a little bit moisty. Um, might not be the correct word for it, the moist, but, but it is what it is. Here on this end, I didn't know what to add. So I did add like a temporary ferry station. We're going to use it eventually, I guess. One day, this is going to be in use. I don't know, a fire station. Right? There's going to be a little, like, some type of community here in the far end later on. And some parking lots. But, um, does it look cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with those pools. Even having, like, some overpassages going over across. And a glass. It might be a little bit oversized, okay, but... Does it add out of something? I f I think it, it kind of does. It doesn't really make sense. Like, I made those, like, roads going down to the, to the to the pool areas, but they don't really make any sense. So I made, like, a little, like, temp... I think this is called, like, an outbuilding, which I just, I guess, for observation or whatnot, it kind of makes sense a little bit. A staircase <laughs> who wants to get down to the poop pools i don't know all right <laughs> don't ask me and also more offices on those this is quite quite like it, it does look nice this office like it does re reflect there are some doors and whatnot the skyscraper is in the background and just amazing but it doesn't really pop out it doesn't really like catch your eye like oh my god this doesn't fit here it just kind of blends in, in in the atmosphere here quite nicely and having the green roofs as well it just looks nice but man I love it. Tetrapods, absolutely amazing. Lily pads and, and stuff. So that is what I've been doing today. Even have a little like radio mast. And yeah, I put those. This is like a tsunami warning uh, mechanism from the mast trans. No, the, what was the uh, natural disasters? I think was right. Yeah. So I added one of those and I, I yeah, we do have an earthquake one over here as well. This is kind of like an earthquake warning type of deal. It not I think I disabled them. Hopefully I've disabled them. Because if this burns down and crashes and uh, uh, well, a tsunami comes, it's going to be bad. Because I don't want to rebuild this ever, ever, ever again. Everybody, this is for inspiration. Hopefully you guys will get some inspiration from it. I, I'm sh I sure did uh, enjoy this build quite a bit. I'm, I'm a man of projects. And doing projects, the only thing which I kind of hate is that they disappear from time to time. As you can see, like we switch by them in like this up close mode and they disappear like the the overpassages is that a tourist what is you doing over here well it's a nice place to to visit this is this is such a cool feature having the trains going through through the poop paradise as we call it over here all right so just gonna end on a night scenario and i'm super tired this is taking like far far longer than expected but Let's go to a night scenario. And at night, this whole place flashes about. Those, those like, uh, those basins, they have, like, those lights over here and then just flash and looks quite the thing. Even here, a little lamp just flashes by. And on this, like, oil uh, pumping station, I think it's oil or gas, I think, right? We do have those as well. Lights just flashing by man this is lit up up the ferry terminal holy crap and how about the tsunami thingy yep definitely flashes as well 
Ooh, from above. We have a city. It's becoming a city. Oh, by the way, the offices, do they light up? Yes, they do. Man, that's, that's kind of sweet. Everybody's kind of working like a little bit overtime. Can you just imagine, by the way, being a tourist into this place, coming in for a beautiful visit into the, to the, to the paradise of the city, and then just coming with a train and just seeing the poop just puking out. I didn't really think that through now, did I? But, but it's a poop cannon. The poop cannons. It's a meet and greet area, I guess. Man, I wish they didn't disappear. Like they were... Wow. Usually people don't play uh, up close and personal as, as I do, I guess. Like most people don't, don't. So it doesn't really matter if they disappear because on distance, they will never disappear. But but everybody, I am truly sorry. I'm tired. I'm just being like slumbering about bouts here, uh, building this off camera. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration. If you did, make sure you smack the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section. All right. Pretty pretty please and i'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of city skylands where i think what we're gonna do hmm hmm we need a big big like a garbage dump as well like a big big facility for that but i think we need to get some education education maybe some schools about here maybe continue this district we just don't know it's gonna be a few days until the next episode because my wife is going away to do stuff and i got the kids so i won't be able to play for a couple of days but uh, hey don't worry, we will get back eventually. So everybody, smash the like button for the poop paradise and have a very nice, very nice day or weekend or whatever it is. Thank you and bye-bye.